Okay, good afternoon and welcome to my channel. I am going to be doing a one year review of my Hirschfana YTH18542. Okay, let me explain this first. Um, I'm just a regular, you know, lawn mowing nut. I don't really know a whole lot. I'm not mechanical and I'm not a videographer. So if you came to that channel to give me that crap, get off my channel. Okay? Um, I just, I'm doing this for fun. Uh, I, the laptops I try to get on to try to do this. I don't have the money to be doing, you know, editing or whatever. So most of this is going to be coming from my phone. But it, it's actually coming from my heart. Um, I enjoyed this thing when I first got it because it was my first lawn, really second, uh, long story. But um, it's uh, my first brand new lawnmower. My wife got it for me. And I really, really enjoy it. But I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the indifferent about this lawnmower. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you stuff that I've learned uh, and stuff that I've gotten um, used to, and you know, to figure out and new things. I just, I just noticed about the lawnmower. Um, also, I'm going to actually answer some questions to a few things that. You know, some people had mentioned uh, uh, two people that actually got lemons, poor, poor guys, about this lawnmower, and they'll never buy them again. But this baby is my workhorse, as you can see. I don't have need a a, um, a um, wheelbarrow anymore. <laughs> that follows me around. I just moved a big old tree that I cut down uh, yesterday, and. Um, like again, I just want to talk about it. I'm gonna go be using it this in bits and pieces. Okay, this lawnmower does not come with this hour meter. It's very easy to install. Uh, what you need is just a flathead screwdriver. There's a plastic piece that comes across here. All you do is just pop it out. Okay and you lift that up and you just reach your hand under exactly where this is and reach around for there's going to be some loose wires it's literally a plug and play what i'm going to do is um i'm going to add the amazon i did a screenshot of the amazon thing it's like freaking 19 dollars. that's all you had to, that's all i paid for it you just plug it in and it starts your hour meter for this lawnmower real easy okay to start this puppy up, all you do, push down right there. It's going to get loud for a minute. And put the choke on. And you turn it to the right. And one more time. Okay. Now, it has a mode that I always forget which one it is. It has a mode for, um, you know, when you want to back up, it'll actually automatically cut off. Let's see if it's that one. Let's see if it's that, this guy or that guy. You know, I can't talk. You won't hear me while I do the wrong one. so you can hear me that was stupid it there's a mode where it automatically cuts off when you engage the blade and guess what I just didn't do didn't engage the blade so let's start over again there it is right there okay so if you put it in the second notch we see that little guy right there it disengages the blade so you don't run over you know Human beings, dogs, cats, lawnmower equipment, stuff like that. 
But if you put it in that guy right there, show, I'll just show you. Start it back up. Go. Cuts right off. Okay. Now. Okay, one thing I'm going to say about this is um, one thing I don't like about it is, you know, I have a few beers when I drive, when I drive my lawnmower. I'm, I'm not trying to be a professional. I'm trying to have fun and enjoy myself. But what I did start doing is I make it a habit of I turn this, I turn this puppy off. It does have, uh, I'm not sure which, which position is in that if you just get off of the seat it'll automatically cut off but I you know I also do a safety thing that subconsciously when I get off this puppy I turn the lawnmower off okay turn the blade off you know I turn the blade off so I don't cut my freaking toes off okay because if trying to get off you have to make sure that you step way the heck out here and don't you know instinctively move your foot under the freaking blade right there you see what i'm saying that's the only thing i don't like i don't want to stand on this thing you know i'm i'm think i actually lost weight i'm two and some change but i don't want to do you know something simple like that and break the daggone thing so i automatically turn this puppy off so i get off of here you know like so it's just a little anal retentive but, you know, hey, that's one thing. Another thing I don't like, but I actually like, is every once in a while, the belt will come off. Okay? Let's show you. This guy right here. This whole thing right here. See? We get a little closer. This belt right here which engages the, uh, you know, the blade, it will come off. It'll actually pop out, and it's really, it's kind of loose, but it's easy to get to. I had a lawnmower that wasn't easy. You had to take the whole freaking thing apart. So you just got to remember that, that. Just look down. If your blade doesn't engage, it might have came, you know, came out the, the, you know, the piece. I guess, I guess it was built that way. I don't know. But while we're down here, if you look, this little, you know, I guess, what do they call those, cotter pins? One right there. No. And one right there. And there should be another one on the other side. And that sh you should be able to take your, um, you know, your bottom piece of this lawnmower right, right out. Okay? So, that's good, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay? Another, another thing they don't tell you about these lawnmowers and these small engines and everything like that is that you gotta watch out for that um uh, what do you what do you call it this gasoline that's got the you know that corn you know uh, corn alcohol corn liquor whatever the hell you call it. In, in there it actually clogs up the injectors so what I'm gonna start doing is every few batches uh, I'm gonna get the real good uh, lawnmower gas and I'm gonna start right now and set it up so you can see it okay this is the stuff I'm talking about when you get the gasoline that's got the ethanol in it it can clog up the um i guess the injectors and mess you know kind of mess up the engine so i'm gonna start putting uh maybe every other load or whatever some ethanol shield in there to keep an eye on that and this guy is the real expensive stuff is ethanol free but it's not you know every once in a while i'm gonna shove that in there especially when i leave you know leave it alone for a cup a month or two I'm gonna put that in there and um, 
that's going to keep me, you know, my engine real good. Okay. I'm going to cut that off right now. Okay. Another thing is you got to learn like me to look at the reviews for stuff. And I, I wanted to get a um, grass catcher. And every review for this horse one thing <laughs> is horrifically messed up. And, you know, it breaks within months. Um, you know, a couple of bows, the thing's falling apart, the whole nine yards. So I'm not going to pay two or three hundred dollars for a lawnmower catcher that's going to break within a couple of months. Because I'll be the, the one knucklehead, you know, not the one one, but the, the many that uh, actually has got a lawnmower catcher for this thing and it falls apart. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to go on Facebook Marketplace. Every, you know, it's crazy. Everybody wants an arm and leg for stuff. But, or I might buy a new one. I'm not sure. They have, it's like a lawnmower sweeper that attaches right back here just like this. And it picks up the grass. It actually, you know, while you're, you're mowing, it actually, or you can just come back over it and pick up the grass. I, there's better reviews on that. But, you know, right now, um, you know, I just mow it and be done with it. You know what I mean? I don't have the mulching blade. I don't have the mulching system. Uh, I'm not really into that. But also another thing is, um, you know, like in the winter, you want to be able to, you know, get fine or cut. Again, I don't have the mulching blade. It's a regular blade. But all it does is literally blow the leaves to the next row. So when I had to do for the winter, take this guy out with my bag and mow it over and pick up the leaves. Because as you can see, I'm surrounded by a freaking forest. So that's one of the things that I'm looking at right now. But um, right now that is uh, a really good, uh, you know, alternative. If you don't want to spend two, three hundred dollars, just use your other mower. But you know, that's up to you. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you about uh, the areas we it, I have scalping, you know, so I have to, I know now not to, um, you know, uh, mow there because regardless, I'm going to scalp this sucker. I'm going I'm to walk around my property and show you guys what, it, you know, where the spots where it, it will actually scalp. Okay, you guys can't really see it, but um, I'm at like a left like a left angle it's kind of slanted and she actually keeps her composure and cuts uh but when <laughs> my lawn is like i'll be honest with you survival of the fittest i've got tall fescue plus weeds but this guy right here is bermuda and every time i come over this and you know i gotta just let it go i keep on forgetting turn the blade off and come over here with a regular mower and cut it because I always scalp it that scalp right there <laughs> I just bought a real 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 mower and um, I'm trying that out and see how that goes but like I said I got a lot of I finally got stuff growing a lot of it is you know weeds but you know I don't know what I'm doing and you know if you got helpful suggestions you want to really be an a-hole get off my page but if you got helpful suggestions that's what i'm looking for and that's what i'm really about on my page because a lot of times you know us old school guys we just cut the lawn and keep them on going but i started realizing I, i'm having fun so you know like i said it'll she'll get up right here but it'll dig into the you know the ground because this is a slant going up it'll dig into the ground right there and maybe a little bit over there but um other than that she's very durable i'm gonna show you another side my home is on a kind of a slant everything goes downhill you know i eventually have to get some uh, rocks here to stop the erosion and stop stuff from coming down the hill but it's taken me years to figure this crap out and then i didn't realize hey i could look on youtube duh you know but she it's like i really have fun back here because it's like, I don't know what he calling the suspension, but you, you turn the mower off and put it at the highest level 
and you come down here and you can actually you know get through all of this because it doesn't look like it but it's very rugged a lot of rocks and stuff like that down here i'm gonna be working on this guy this area back here got a lot of trees so it's gonna be hard to get some grass down here but as you can see a lot of rocks so in this area uh, you know i learned the hard way turn the blade i turned the blade off turn the blade off because it's gonna hit that you see what i'm saying uh it's gonna hit this big root i turn the blade off right here and i don't know if you can see it but that is used to be a tree right there a tree right there a tree right there and it's a lot of you know hills so in this area i can only do with my hearse vana without scalping everything to, to holy heck i gotta come around come around here come right here come down and then mow and over there and like right here there's some big, big behind, big rocks. So I gotta turn the blade off right there. And right through here, I gotta turn the blade off. So when you get this guy, you'll learn, you know, it's very versatile, but you gotta learn in certain areas, you know, where you can go. I can actually, I don't know if you see it, it goes down the hill. But I can actually, actually with that hearse vana, cut all this sideways. Roll it around and cut that sideways. And I just have fun. You know, I get my beer and, psh, man, please. We're having fun. This, uh, I ain't going to be able to cut this. It'll scalp all this. But that's a drain I've been working on, you know, learning here and there. Oh, let's see. What other thing that I screwed up? Okay, make sure you always t turn it off. I leave my key in. I leave. I leave my key in the, uh, you know, in the lawnmower, so you know we don't lose it and uh, really be screwed. Uh, one time I actually left it on, drained the battery. Let me show you where the battery is. And. I had one heck of a time getting it going again. I just tried to um, uh, charge it when I bought a battery charger. It just wasn't charged, so I actually had to jump. I literally had to jump the daggone thing and then put it on the charger. And I haven't had no problems ever since. Okay, I don't know what type of lawn you guys have. I'm, I'm working on, <laughs> you know, I guess survival of the fittest, but uh, really. Um, tall fescue a lot of this tall fescue it don't look like it and you know some of it's Bermuda mixed in there but I learned one thing this is your main sucker here I don't know about but if you have Bermuda you go past number four if you go like to number three you're gonna scalp something okay I would test it out in a small area first before you do anything. But you go, if you go to down to three, you're going really low. This baby, you'll have dirt. Uh, one, I know you're going to have dirt. But normally, I didn't learn <laughs> for a long time. My tall fisker needs to stay right there at number six. But again, other than that, uh, I'm at, I think, at like 57 hours. And... Let me tell you, let me show you. Everybody wants to know. I'm at 57 hours. I'm at 57 hours. And look how clear that all is. I'm not changing that all yet. We'll figure that out later. But I seen a guy at, you know, I guess at like, I think it's like 57 hours. Gotta get a grease gun. I'm gonna get a grease gun and start greasing certain points, you know, around the lawnmower. He's got a YouTube video that shows you how to do that. And I'm going to make sure that I, you know, hit hit those spots. And like right now, you can see I, you know, power washed it. And if you want to get one, this is the one to get. To be honest with you. I mean, they all kind of look the same, but I, I, I can't. I can't sit here online and say I don't. I don't enjoy it. And um, in rabbit mode, which is I say rabbit mode. But if you see it right here, I'm talking about right there with the position, um, she'd be flying. <laughs>
And again, I said it in my first video, I drive I drive an 18 wheel and I really don't want to be driving. But I really enjoy driving this guy. Um just bought a real mower. I'm um, working on the front trying to figure out, you know, I'm I'm not going to be like these guys just kill off their freaking lawn and they have one specific thing because of all these trees my lawn is going to be survival of the fittest as long as i can once i start getting um a certain amount of grass in here i'm just going to keep on trying to keep it healthy and let it hopefully it'll choke out the weeds that's going to be another thing of, of the dumbness that i've done but i've got it all i've got a couple of years of leveling to do and but this guy is my workhorse. It cuts the lawn. Uh, big tree branch, if you can see it way over there. Cut that sucker down. I threw it on the back of here. Dragged it to my backyard. You know, it's been my workhorse. So, if you're thinking about getting one, I, 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 I give it an A++. I got two other lawnmowers, a real lawnmower and a push lawnmower. But, you know, this is this is my go-to. I'm not going to be like, you know, these other pages say everybody goes to real long. No, 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 no. I'm staying with this guy. I'm going to be playing with the other guys. All right? Thank you for, you know, um, checking out my channel. If you like it, you want to get some laughs, watch me fuck stuff up. Or, you know, if you want to, you know, we can learn together. Or you got suggestions. Hey, like and subscribe. You know? I mean, I'm just doing this for fun. You know, I, I drive an 18 wheeler for 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 you know to pay the bills, but I'm I'm gonna have fun. You know, life's too short. Be happy. You know what I mean. Uh, thanks for checking out my channel. Y'all have a nice day. And if you like it, subscribe. It help help me out. I got 20 old 20 old subscribers. <laughs>